Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It's Christelle Martinet here, and I'm here with another reading that starts on the 15th for the second half of May. And I just want to show you the cards I'll be using for these readings. I've taken up this uh, period the cards of the Voodoo, New Orleans Voodoo Tarot that I've used uh, consistently for a long period of time, but uh, for the past couple of months I haven't. Beautiful, beautiful cards, one of my favorite decks. And since not many people out there know how to read them, I um, and and uh, it's difficult for you. Some people think that they're very dark cards, and they are not. It's a different culture, really. I temper that with another tarot deck, and they work very well together, which is the Angel Tarot. Uh, they seem to work very well together. They lighten each other up. And what emerges is a very particular um, message. And then, of course, I'll be using my Vera Sibila cards, and they are the protagonists in my readings always. And, of course, the runes. And I again have this uh, reading, the antler runes, that I can see very well on camera. They're easier to, to see and I'll cast them at the very end. I just wanted to say um, that uh, I've had been having a lot of uh, consultations with people interested in um, soul therapy, and it's been going extensively well. And why I uh, need to put in my two cents here is that, um, I, and I've said this to people who have been, who have been coming in for an architect's, uh, architect's, <laughs> sorry about that, archetypes reading. The hair on my arms stands on end when I work with clients in soul therapy for the amount of precision. And uh, the, I mean, it's, an, it's uncanny. And uh, the, 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 the actual result that it has uh, on people, the healing, the amount of healing that uh, takes place. And I just wanted to open the floor for that. Um, that because some people who come in, they're a little bit embarrassed to talk about themselves and talk about their issues. And um, soul therapy is a way of circumventing that. It's even better uh, than the card reading in the sense that it's not a therapy session where you come and you talk about your problems with a psychotherapist. It, it's giving me four bits of information and I do the work and we come into a session, an extended session, and I tell you what I find. And then the story comes out and you know you we you make heads of and tails of what i tell you and it seems a different way to uh, toward healing it's quite interesting and um i'm very at ease um with working with the invisible world i feel it's part of my nature it's part of my own soul, soul group of origin where i i uh, straddle uh, the invisible and the visible world, I do a lot of channeling, and there too my hair stands on end um, when I do channeling and mediumship. So for those of you who are interested in contacting people from uh, the past who have uh, uh, who have uh, moved on, um, the sessions are very, very interesting. So that said, let's go on to the reading, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Virgo. It's Christelle Martinet here with the second half of May reading for you this time, starting the 15th, May 15th. May 15th to the end of the month. Let's see what's in store for you, Virgo. I've, nah, I've mixed the cards offline, but I do like to, as I always say, do some mixing online here, shuffling. I'll show you the cards before I begin. There we go. So, 15th of May. Well, you know, as the cards were coming out and saying, oh, what a beautiful time. Oh, what a nice time. Oh, until I saw the last card. And the first card and the last card are mirroring each other. Let me show you them first and then discuss that. All right, this is um, Santeria Oriate. Petro, six, Legba la Flambeau. Santeria, eight, Shango. 
the Radha three card Gida, the ninth major arcana Kushe, which is sleeping, resting, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Now, it's, of course, the first thing that arises here is uh, the a moment of truth is bringing on uh, a moment of pain. And um, there are, of course, I don't want to say there are seven seasons here that you go, there are four seasons, there are not seven. Um, the, the, um, the, the ride is a rough one in the second half of May, uh, just when you think you had things under control, Virgo. Um, and and that is what is more most painful of all because you thought oh I've licked it you know and now what's this coming up to 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 haunt me what's happening here what is happening and and it's going to play out differently for everyone but um, first of all there there is pain involved so I'm not going to hide that for you you can put your thumbs down as much as you want but uh, what I'm seeing is what I have to say and so these messages are there for someone. Um, there is going to be pain and uh, there is again going to be a moment where um, the pain is, is reined in, it is controlled and you find yourself face to face with your fate, your destiny. You're thinking, okay, I'm, what do I have to do now? Do I have to again reconsider what I'm doing? Do I have to again say, who am I? Where am I going? What What is it that I have to be doing? And you're completely losing I don't want to say losing control, but it feels like you're losing control over who am I, where am I going, and what am I to do? And that's a heavy, you know, that's a heavy existential issue that uh, comes about cyclically, you will agree with me, uh, as we wrote, ride down this road that is called life. And um, so much so that you're thinking, okay, uh, I'm going to need a break. I need a break. I'm maybe in my dreams, you know, maybe my dreams will will help me. My dreams will show me that uh, what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe, maybe let me go to sleep, perchance to dream, you know, thinking. And then at one point, you're going to feel, okay, all of my troubles are over. I can uh, I can now turn a page, turn you know, a new leaf to on life, new lease on life, and and go forward. There's that, uh, that's when you rediscover, you rethink, uh, for those of you who are not paired, to the, uh, the positive uh, moments of having a partner. When, if at any other time, now would have been the time when I really need somebody to, that supports me, you know, you're thinking that way. And I would gladly change my life today if I could include someone like that, if you don't have someone in your life. Um, but it is unfair, un unfortunately a moment when you, many of you, Virgo, will start be saying, uh, start to say, well, you know, now it's a, it's a time to change because many of you are going to give the responsibilities to others and thinking this relationship is not going to work. This will play out in the um, workplace, it will play out on, on your businesses and in relations relationships. And your goal, the idea here, is to save what you have built so far, you know? The idea is, is to save what you've built so far. And um, it, it seems that uh, you be, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. That's the second, I hate to give you this message, but this is what I'm saying, Virgo. The second half of May is the moment when you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So you know, that uh, couche card really does say, let's just wait until the cloud passes, you know. Don't rain on my parade. Let's just wait till the cloud passes. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do now is take some uh, Verasibila cards over these, uh, some of the troublesome cards and see what's going on. First of all, this moment of truth, of extreme truth, this uh, Santeria Oriate, and which has uh, right over the Ten of Swords, it's telling me that uh, this moment of truth has brought the biggest truth of all truths. And now I can say, okay, I've accepted, I acknowledge it. Let's put it behind me. You know, you're thinking. But then your mind goes on. And, and what if I had done this? And what if this? And what, what importance did this person have? And what did, you know, so, so it's a time when you're revisiting, you're rethinking, you're, you're um, again, you know, this who am I, what am I, where am I going? Let me see. Yes. All right. Look. Uh, 
I, I couldn't get clearer than this. Um, there are three people here, all right? And the Gran Signore is a myth. I'm seeing it as a myth. You know, the knight in shining white, white armor. That's that person. And what you've got here? You've got silent, a silent partner, perhaps someone you knew who there's no communication. There's someone who's in your mind, and that's how you're experiencing them, but there is someone there. And then we have this um, Nemico, the male enemy, which would be an antagonist to this person here. So there indeed is a person in your life. Um, and what the cards are really shouting um, out at me is that they're here for a moment. They are not indeed the Gran Signore, but that's okay. We don't want to. It could be a female, could be a male. That's okay. I'm just, you know, pretending. Let me let me play pretend. Let me let let let's be friends. Let me walk through life this brief period of time, this brief moment, this road with this person, because it's about time I do that. And maybe I'll become convinced, or maybe I'll find something out that, that I didn't know before. So it seems to me that there are two people, one strictly in the mind uh, that is currently not in your life, and another who is, but who is not that Gran Signore for you, Virgo. I'm going to take uh, now the cards over this Three of Swords and the Couché to see these last. These, those were the incoming, this is the outgoing. Okay, now, um, I think they're mirroring. It's mirroring the message of that militare here. We've got the nuptial dance, uh, the imeneo, prigione, prison, and then riunione. So it really does look like there's this militare, the person, the unspoken, the unsaid person who is very real as an experience in your mind who is not going to materialize. And this is why there is the Three of Swords situation and the pain that, that you're experiencing, because it seems that everything that occurs, these, these ups and downs are boiled down, or at least you're giving it that, um, that meaning. It's boiling down to the, the feeling of absence from your heart, from your life of someone. Um, now, let me take the, the um, runes, cast them, and see what they have to add. Hmm, this is on its side. I don't know if you could see that in the camera. Yeah, sure you can. And this is Otala. I have to consider that bright stave. It won't stay up there. And it's right over the Three of Swords here, Otala. That is a key. The key to understanding the second half of May is... The pain, you know, that that uh, pain that's caused by absence. And um, although uh, there is that pain, and although necessarily you do have to go through as part of life this rite of passage of feeling it and feeling the change and acknowledging that there is something missing for you, nonetheless, I have Ewats and Lagas, they're both uh, bright stave, and they're telling you that it will be um, a, quite a smooth transition into the next period, into uh, June after that. But you won't see it coming. You won't see that smooth transition, uh, Keenat's Merck stave. You won't see that. All you'll see is the dire need, um, Therisats and um, and um, Ansu's bright state, the dire need to communicate with that person more openly, and it's not happening. And that is cause for uh, uh, difficulty and, and sadness. And what, um, what other, you know, the, these rooms are casting a picture, if they're telling you that in the month, okay, over Legba La Flambeau, Pietro four, six, sorry, Pietro six, we have Rido, and it's, you're going forward, and it's not the end of the uh, pain with, re, with relation to that person who's not in your life now. It's not the end of that, so there will be more of the same. Again, you can flame me, put uh, 
thumbs down as much as you want. I have this message. I get it out, you know. Uh, so there's pain coming up. Um, my Virgo friends, I know so many Virgo people, and I hate to give them terrible messages like this. It's not a terrible message, though. It's, a, it's like a wake-up call, really. But I'm seeing also that the person that you're that is in your life now is um, is a very temporary situation. You will acknowledge that. You'll see that it's not going to work out, and you yourself cannot bring yourself to to enact any kind of uh, scenario with them at all. And uh, but you will also decide for yourself that it's necessary for you to close one eye and just go forward. And uh, for those of you who are intuitives, you, you're not going to want to know. You, you literally will not open a deck of cards for yourself, not go to a card reader. For those of you who are highly intuitive and psychic, you will think that maybe it's best I leave sleeping dogs lie in this. If, if this is the way it's supposed to be, so be it. And there's sort of like a bit of resignation there. If it weren't for this... And I'll need, leave you on this note, because it's as if the runes, this is um, Manat's uh, bright state, and where uh, two people meet face to face in joy, and uh, what they uh, talk about is that there is a promise here of love, of, of a strong, very passionate, very um, moving love. And unfortunately, this part of your life, second half of... Um, may is necessary in order for you to get to this position um also i started out with otala okay the, the the key and that is what i'm going back to otala the key over the three of swords is necessary for you to again revisit that love that uh militare who's not there and again make sense of it for you and i do hope this was of help for you coraggio 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 we can make it Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, Virgo friends, until we read together again. Bye-bye.